What is up you guys, it's your boy RG Yate here and today we are back with some more Roblox scary stories. I know I already did these before but I never recorded the Jeff the Killer and the AO Oni because they just recently got added, not recently but they're the newest additions to this game. So we're going to be doing that and then joining another different scary story game that I found that is pretty darn amazing and I can't wait for that. And I want to give a quick shout out to everybody that was on the stream yesterday. I really appreciate it, all the support, and it was pretty amazing. All right, so let's begin with AO Odie. Make sure to turn your volume up all the way. Oh my God, look at this dude. All right, let's begin. Uh, hey guys, have you heard of that old mansion on the other side of town, says Bianca? Of course I have. Yeah, I have. I heard it's haunted. Duh, she did say it's a haunted house. <laughs> okay, um, is it really haunted? I seen my friends go there all the time. Yes, let's go home and I'll tell you the story. Alright, let's see what this haunted house is all about. I'm about to read you the legend of Ayo Oni. Uh, what, who is Ayo Oni and what does he have to do with the haunted house? That is correct. What does Ayo Oni have to do with this haunted house? We'll see right now. Ayo Oni is a creature located in the haunted mansion. Uh, I don't believe that. Where are you getting this information from? Oh my god, he really is looking at Ayo Oni. It seems like he's playing a game on the computer. That's the only information we have. This kid has probably got the information from Yahoo. Yo, Yahoo is very old, man. <laughs> Guys, look! We won't know if it's real or not unless we go see, right? He's right, but I'm pretty sure this is fake. Let's go. Dude, let's go check this out. Okay, guys. If we see or hear anything, what do we do? We run like the wind. That is correct. All right, let's keep on going. Oh my god, they made it to the mansion. What is that noise? It's nothing. It's probably just because we came inside now. Yeah, it's nothing. Let's go explore if there. Dude, that is the sound of Ao Oni when he is onto you. You guys better make a run, man. Whoa, such a cool library. Yeah, I think Alex went this way. Come on. Oh my god, Ayo Oni's right there. Oh my god. Ha ha ha, I got your friend. Good luck getting out of here. No, how could you? Dude, Ayo Oni, oh my god. I did not see the dead body there, but rest in peace to their friend, man. Oh no. Dude, there's a lot of them now. There is no way out. Just become minions with me. I have made your little friend Alex into my minion now. <laughs> Don't he turn him into an AO Oni? Fine, we'll become minions. Bianca, no! Oh no, so Bianca's giving in to becoming a minion, but Dylan does not want it. Oh! Oh my god. Look at my wonderful minions. Dude, they all turned into minions. Oh my god, AO Oni, what have you done? It seems like he's trying to recruit an army of minions. To raise an army. Okay, so this is only VIP. I don't know if they'll be able to join us in this one. But let's go in here. Okay, class. I need to use a restroom. So behave while I'm gone. Okay, Mrs. Bailey. Okay, so I wonder who is Jeff. Who's going to turn out to be Jeff here? Jeff, enough with being the teacher's pet, you freak. I'm not being the teacher's pet. I'm just being nice. Okay, so this is Jeff right here. Before he turns evil. Uh, whisper to Catherine. I don't think this is a good idea. Whisper to Alice. Where's the gasoline? Wait, what? What are they trying to do with gasoline? Are these girls insane? Come on, just admit it. You're such a loser. Can we just be nice for once, Kevin? Dude, he's a big bully, man. Look at this dude. Yeah, it's never wrong to be nice to people, guys. Come on, just do it. Let me have it. We hated Jeff for years. Fine, here. Dude, are they gonna light Jeff on fire? What are wrong with these girls? They're insane. Okay, you're such a baby. Get alive. Stop being so mean. Oh, no, poor Jeff. He is getting bullied, man. Okay, whispers to Alice. Hurry, get me a match. Here, we gotta run as soon as we do it. Dude, they're about to light Jeff on fire behind his back. And he is clueless. Enough with playing the victim, you freak show. I can't even with you. Oh no, can't believe I'm about to light him on fire. Dude, Jeff! She is about to light this man on fire and he has no idea. Ah! Oh no, dude, he is literally lit up on fire. Okay, I'm back. Oh my gosh, what happened? Dude, Miss Bailey is too late. Didn't let that boy on fire, man. Two months later. Okay, Jeff, you have gotten better enough to leave the hospital today. I should have not survived the burns. I would hate how I look now. As we can see, his turn, skin turned pale white as he is turning to creepy Jeff now. I can't believe how, I, how ugly I look. 
Thanks to those bullies. I need to get my revenge. Oh no. Okay. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, what's up with that grave? Whispers to Alice and Catherine. Haha, <laughs> Jeff looks even uglier. Dude, that is messed up. They're totally still bullying him. Could you guys stop please talking about me? Dude, they are so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that jump scare though. I said stop talking about me. Oh, Jeff is going crazy as we can see here. He can no longer withstand this bullyingness. You bullies have made me look like a freak. So you get to die. What are you doing? Oh, man. He, dude, he killed this guy back here. I mean, he was bullying him pretty hardcore. That's what they deserve. This is why people will never mess with me from now on. Dude, he slaughtered the whole classroom, which they were all bullying him. That is so sad. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to go on over to the Sleepy Hollow. All right. And we, here we are at the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Let's begin with this. Oh, my. Quite a frightening place at night okay so we got this guy riding his horse in the middle of the forest i have no idea what's going on once upon a time there was a man named uh, ichabod crane he was a school teacher who had mostly worked in the city but was recently offered a job in the small town of sleepy hollow in upstate new york which was where he was heading right now okay so this is like way back then bro this is like a long time ago before new york city was like a big giant place as we know as it is now Oh dear, a witch's lair. I had no idea there was witches here. Oh man, there's witches here? Beware the witch's lair. All right. It was a long journey from the city and Ichabod was happy that he was almost in Sleepy Hollow. However, he was more than a little nervous about the, how spooky everything seemed to be, especially Sleepy Hollow Forest. Oh man, it is kind of scary to be roaming out here by yourself, man. Okay, good heavens. Three new graves? I wonder what happened. Okay, so it seems like there has been three more dead people since he's recently been here last time. This is not good news. Sleepy Hollow, thanks heavens I made it. Ichabod was finally relieved to finally reach the town bridge and to be out of Sleepy Hollow Forest. He could see a man with a lantern just over the bridge. He must be waiting for me, Ichabod thought to himself. Okay, so he finally made it to Sleepy Hollow. Wow, sweet. All right, uh, the town greeter seemed nice enough and made Ichabod feel welcomed. He headed to the stable to board his horse and head off to meet town mayor who was expecting him. All right, so he finally made it as we see. You must be Mr. Crane. I'm the town greeter. You can put your horse right inside of the stable here. All right, so he finally made it to Sleepy Hollow. Oh, there's his horse over there in the stable. Oh, man. So he's supposed to head over to the town hall. The greeter told Ichabod that the mayor was waiting for him across the street in the town hall as Ichabod made his way there. He noticed how quiet everything was. No one else was around. He thought that was a bit strange. All right, that is a little weird. He's in a town, but there's nobody else in here. <laughs> what? They are flying up there. Okay, so there he goes to the town hall. That is strange. There seems to be nobody else around, guys. Okay, a pretty young lady named Claire Westfield was asked to accompany, him, accompany Ichabod to the schoolhouse and Ichabod's new home. As they walked, Claire said that they must move quickly since it was almost midnight, which was the exact time that the headless horseman rides his red-eyed horse. Ichabod was frightened to the bone, but Claire's beauty distracted him from this fear. He was smitten with Claire. Oh man, so the headless horseman seems to appear around here at night. That is the reason why nobody is out and about at midnight or so. Um, Claire informed Ichabod that they must first stop by Mr. Van Horn's house for the key to the schoolhouse. Oh man, there's a scream. Ichabod asked Claire if there was a Mr. Westfield. Claire smiled at Ichabod. Uh, why Mr. Crane? Are you flirting with me? Claire asked, amused. Oh, uh, well, no ma'am. Not at all, Ichabod answered, but was cut off by Claire. No, Mr. Crane, I am not married, she said sweetly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go over here to Mr. Van Horse. They have to get the key in there. Wait, can you go inside of here? <laughs> no, but he's like glitching in there. Wait, oh, they're inside of there as we can see. They are getting the key for the schoolhouse. All right, so off they go over here. After they had left, Mr. Van Horn and Ichabod finally asked Claire about the headless horseman. What or who is this headless horseman? Asked Ichabod. Claire got quiet for a moment. Then, uh... Wow, he was a warlock from this town many years ago who did some terrible things, so he was executed. The townsfolk chopped off his 
head. Oh, man. <laughs> and now he has come back to take revenge. He has been taking the heads of the townsfolk one at a time, she said. Oh, dear, Ichabod said Friday. Dude, so he's basically getting revenge because they chopped off the man's head for doing terrible things. Oh, my God. What's up with that loud scream? What was that, Ichabod yelled? That was the witch of Sleepy Hollow, Crane answered. She's letting us know that the Headless Horseman will be arriving soon. She continued, who is this witch? Ichabod asked. Nobody knows, Claire told them. She lives in the forest somewhere. They say that she is responsible for awakening the Headless Horseman because she is angry at the townsfolk for rejecting witchcraft, explained Claire. Dude, there is so much crazy stuff going on in this town. So much evilness, man. All right, so it seems like every time, oh. There's the Undertaker bell. Every time the, you hear the scream, the Headless Horseman is nearby. Oh, it's midnight. We should go inside, Ichabod said frightened. Claire just repeated him. We should go inside. But something was different about Claire. She stared straight ahead and looked at, and looked like she was in a trance. Ichabod also noticed that her eyes turned red. He was shocked and very frightened. He did not understand what was happening. Claire? He asked, are you feeling all right? He continued, I am feeling all right, she said strangely. Wait, oh my god, what is wrong with Claire? Her eyes did turn red. She looks pretty evil, man. I don't know, some fishy business. They arrived at the school, Claire pointed at the schoolhouse and said, This is the schoolhouse. Something seemed very wrong with her and Ichabod was worried. Uh, Claire, are you feeling okay? It doesn't seem like you're well, he asked quietly. I am fine, Claire answered flatly. Your house is across the street. Let us go there now, she continued. She led Ichabod across the street to his house. Okay, so they are going over here to his house, to his schoolhouse. Oh my god, what? Dude, he's inside over here. <laughs> you don't belong in here. Okay, so nothing strange to seem. Dude, the schoolhouses were so weird back then. Look at the tables. Actually, those tables seem way more cooler than the tables from now. <laughs> okay, uh, Claire pointed to Ichabod's house. This is your house, she said in a robotic voice. She unlocked the door and turned to Ichabod. You will now go inside. It is not safe out here, she demanded. Ichabod entered the house. Okay, can we go in his house? Oh. What? You're in the witch's lair. You must find the way out. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Oh, dude, the witch. Dude, the Headless Horseman! Oh my god, no! Dude, there's a lot of them! Okay, we need to get out of here, guys! Oh my god, yo, this is insane! Oh, look, there's the exit! Dude, there's a lot of Headless Horsemen out here! Okay, back to Sleepy Hollow. Yes, take me away! Oh, you have to climb up here. Dude, this is pretty cool. It, like, teleported us to the secret... So his house was a trap? Oh! <laughs> it was a witch! She's after us! Okay, we managed to get out of there safe in town. Yo, that was insane. Okay, Ichabod realized now that Claire was the witch. But it did not matter now since Ichabod could only hear the galloping of the headless horse. It was getting closer and closer. Ichabod ran for his life. He was leaving Sleepy Hollow for good. But could he get away from the headless horseman? Dude, so Claire was the witch the entire time. She was trying to trap us. <laughs> oh no, he's down there. Ichabod heard the horseman's laughter, which scared him to death. He ran as fast as his leg could carry him. But the horse's footsteps drew closer and closer. He could barely feel his body from the fear. But he continued to run with all of his might. Oh no, poor Ichabod, man. He is ready for his life. Dude, look at the headless horseman. Keep out. Oh man, will he make it out alive? Ichabod crossed the last bridge in the Sleepy Hollow, but ran directly into the grave of the Headless Horseman. Just then, the Horseman flew out of his grave with his red-eye horse and swung his axe wildly. His evil laughter filled the air. Ichabod continued to run for his life. Oh no! Dude, you better run, bro! He is right on you! <laughs> Dude, look at the Headless Horseman! And the horse with the red evil eyes? Oh my god. Ichabod ran right past the horseman just as he swung his axe. Ichabod ducked and the axe just missed his head. Ichabod now ran even faster, but he could hear the galloping footsteps of the evil horseman right behind him, getting even closer. And... And what? It just stopped. Right, let's go check it out. Oh, oh there's a horseman jump scare. 
And nobody ever heard from Ichabod Crane again. Nobody ever knows if he escaped the Headless Horseman or if he did it. Some say he survived and is now in another city teaching. But what we do know is that the Headless Horseman is still out there looking for more heads to take. Oh my god. Dude, so they just left us clueless at the end. We don't know if Ichabod made it out of their safe or not. It'll just be a mystery of Sleepy Hollow. All right, so this is the end. Oh man, hopefully he made it out of there, man. He was a good guy. He did not deserve to die whatsoever. All right, well, we will never know the true ending, guys. <laughs> so much for that, huh? All these were some scary stories in Roblox. Um, I don't know when I'll ever do more of these because I cannot find any of these. It is very impossible. <laughs> if you know how to make any of these scary stories games, like legit, like this one, or like the past one, let me know in the comments, man. We can work something out. You'll be my scary story maker, something like that. Just so I can get more scary, uh, <laughs> some scary story content for you guys. All right, you guys. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yeet!